Hello and welcome back for another episode of SciShow Breaking News. Today I bring you news about one terrible thing that officially does not exist and two awesome things that officially do. First, I'm sure you've heard about this bizarre string of grotesque crimes in the news lately, like the man in Miami who ate that other guy's face, and another guy in Maryland who reportedly turned himself in for killing a guy and eating his heart and then part of his brain. These horrifying stories have led some people to suggest that maybe some kind of zombie epidemic is underway. The Huffington Post? Oh God, stop calling yourselves journalists, even went so far to call up the Center for Disease Control to get their take. The verdict, according to CDC spokesman David Daigle, and I'm quoting here, CDC does not know of a virus or condition that would reanimate the dead. Or one that would present zombie-like symptoms. So, yay. But still, you gotta ask, who would perpetuate an idea like this so effectively that it would basically start a public panic? How about the Centers for Disease Control. Since last year, the CDC has been running a PR campaign to raise awareness about disaster preparedness, and the theme is, you guessed it, the zombie apocalypse. This is one of their actual posters. They even published a graphic novel with the somber title, Zombie Pandemic. So don't just blame the media for zombie hysteria, you can blame the US government too. The idea here, I think, being that if you're prepared for a zombie apocalypse, you're prepared for just about any other disaster. Now, in news pertaining to actual science, I'm psyched to tell you that two new elements have officially been added to the periodic table. Please join me in welcoming Fluorovium, otherwise known as number 114, and Livermorium 116. They're both super heavy synthetic elements, and one actually decays into the other. Physicists first created Livermorium by colliding calcium ions with 20 protons into atoms of curium, which have 96 protons, making one huge atom with 116 protons. Livermorium then decays almost instantly into Fluorovium with 100 114 protons. The new elements were named after the labs that collaborated to create them. Russia's Flarov Laboratory of Nuclear Reactions, named for physicist Georgi Flarov, and the Lawrence Livermore Laboratory in California. So, uh, why isn't there a 113? Why did we skip over them? Well, it was actually probably synthesized in 2003 by the same two labs and given the temporary name Ununtrium. Ununtrium, by the way, basically means 113. -um. Clever people, so good at naming things. But the organization that designates new elements, the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry, is awaiting confirmation of its existence before giving it an official name. Thanks for watching this episode of SciShow Breaking News. We'll be on Facebook or Twitter or in the YouTube comments below. You can go to youtube.com slash scishow to subscribe.